It's T with T Quilts, and I am here working on the Quilters Patch Block of the Month. We are actually on Month 9, which is the Greenhouse Block, which is right smack in the middle of the quilt top. I'm actually holding the camera just so I can work through this pretty fast. I have already cut a lot of my pieces. I have some of my pieces already on my design wall and again this is just traditional piecing that we've been doing the entire time so I'm going to go ahead and piece the main part of the house sections together you do they do tell you to use templates for the roof and I'll just do that template part when I get there but I want to show you what I'm doing with the clamshells which are being used for the roof and again, I'm just holding the camera so that I can get this video recorded and uploaded. But what I did was I needed templates. So I just took freezer paper and made a template. And then I used these templates to trace on my fabric and stabilizer. So my the clamshell part, the large clamshell, I traced on fabric. And then I used stabilizer and trace the partial clamshell onto stabilizer so then once I did that I just pin the stabilizer to the right side of my fabric and you want to stitch a quarter of an inch now I recommend reducing your stitch length I'm actually using like a two no I'm actually using 1.8 and then once I stitched around that you will then so that one's blank you'll then cut a little slit and then you're going to actually flip this out and then when you turn it to the right side you've actually got your edges are covered now you can also use fusible web if you want to on the template she gives you a second line To trace which is this inside line if you want to do fusible applique but I didn't want any fusible in my quilt so I'm actually working on all of these and I am going to go ahead and start piecing some of my house together and then I'll come back before when it's time to actually lay these pieces out I'm back and I have completed the bottom portion of my house so this was just very straightforward piecing so I did not show that particular step but everything is written correctly in the book what I came to show you is that I have all of my pieces ready for the next step which is the rooftop my scallop so my clamshells rather and I did lay them out so I could know where I wanted to piece them and then I took a picture of it so that I would know the layout and now you just sew this according to the book so I'm not going to give any additional tips the only thing is I did put a clip here so that I could turn it before I turn because if you don't clip then your fabric wants to fold under and we now need to stitch these edges so that is going to be my next step I'm going to be stitching these all into rows so they start with a row of six clamshells then it's five four three and then two so I'm going to stitch all of my rows together I'm back and I have pressed all of my seams open for all the rows I just pressed the seams open you will see a few little straggler strings I'll trim those later I didn't trim those yet but I have my first row on the recommended base they said to z either zigzag or stay stitch the top part I opted to stay stitch instead of zigzag just because I had on my open I didn't have on my open toe foot I have on a you know this regular foot for a quarter inch seaming so I laid it down and I did align with the top it doesn't say in the book 
so I assume we're going to align to the top. There are places where because of when I sewed, I made some adjustments. So it's not laying completely flush with the top, but that's okay because this part's not going to be used. So I have everything pinned. I just pinned underneath. And I am going to hand sew this. So I'll do this row, hand do the stitches. And then once it's down, I'll come back with my next row and put over the top of that as recommended. So I will continue to do this. It's going to take me a while to do this process and I'll be back when I finish. I'm back many hours later. I actually took a break and I've got all of my clamshell sewed down. I don't know if I like the fact that I use the same fabric as my base for my clamshells here that match because they kind of blend in. But I'm going to keep going and I just wanted to show you the next steps where I'm actually having to use templates. So I have traced out this template and I also have a template for the side corners as well that I don't have yet. But I just used freezer paper and I just pressed it to the back of my block and now I'm actually going to cut on the drawn lines here. So I just wanted to show you that step. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and add my triangles and piece the remainder of my block and then I'll come back with the block completed. So here is my completed block on my design wall. I have a few places where like here the raw edge is not actually in the seam so I'm actually going to put a bird here there's actually a bird on top of the house so I'm not worried about that but I have on this side it seems like it just didn't line up as well so be careful of your sides when you're sewing your block together I'll figure out something for that I am going to fray check the areas to make sure that they don't fray but I'll worry about those when I actually start doing the applique portion of the quilt. So this is it for this block and I will see you next time. Also if you're interested in the book that we are using for this I'll leave all the information in the description box below and I will see you next time. Bye bye.